Yeah. What's your view on what seems like some growing disagreement among Democrats about sort of some of the tactical ways Israel is handling this war, whether it's people calling for a ceasefire or a humanitarian pause? It seems to be a lot more criticism coming from Democrats about sort of the nuts and bolts of what how Israel is handling this every day. And what's your view on that? I wouldn't say it's criticism. I'd say there are different, definitely criticism. different different observations or perspectives about the best way forward, but all of it coming from, as far as I can tell, a place uh, of care and concern related to Israel's safety and its well-being. Everybody seems to recognize that Israel necessarily has to decisively defeat Hamas, period, full stop. Clearly, that's my perspective. Now, I think there are three things that need to occur. Uh, simultaneously to the greatest extent possible. One, Israel has to decisively defeat the terrorist organization Hamas and rid them from the region for the good of Israel, for the good of America, for the good of the free world, for the good of the democratic aspirations of the Palestinian people. Second, we need to do everything possible to secure the release of the hostages, Israeli hostages, American hostages, international hostages. Third, we need to urgently make sure we are providing humanitarian assistance and relief to Palestinian civilians who are in harm's way as happens in war through no fault of their own. Those are the three objectives. And I think the Biden administration will continue to communicate closely with the Israeli government to figure out the best way to accomplish those three critical objectives.